another Mopar Tech with you again today. Um, these P2311 codes, 12, 13, 14 codes for ignition coil secondary unit, insufficient ionization codes, about the vast majority of the time, it's going to be an ignition coil. And how do you do that? You simply swap the coil with another coil and see if the misfire followed that, um, which is what I did, and it didn't follow it. So there are a couple other things you need to do. Don't throw parts at things. So let's take a look at that. So on this is a Chrysler for a Hemi, but on, on, on one of these, you got this blue wire is an ASD power relay uh, wire. And you wanna make sure you have power on that, which I did. And then this other wire, this middle is its signal wire, which is the one that's pulsed with modulating the coil. And you wanna make sure that you have um, power coming from that. And the way that you test that is you put your test light, connect it to ground and you probe it. In the first five seconds of cranking, you should see your test light blinking. If it's not blinking, then you have an issue. I had an issue. And what it ended up being, so again, I swapped this coil with that coil, didn't fix it. They even swapped the plugs over from this coil all the way over here. It obviously, I didn't fix it, but that has nothing to do, it's not a mechanical failure, it's an electrical failure. So, but what ended up being my issue was way over here. The C2 connector for the PCM, I had a bad pin fit at pin, I think, 73, which is, was, all the coils have their own circuit that the PCM controls. And on 73, I had a bad pin fit. How do you check for that? You use something like this and you just stick it in the connector and you drag it. When I put it in there and I dragged it, on 72, I had a good pin fit. On, the, on 73, where my issue was, it just fell right out. Wasn't good. And so that's what the issue was. I am guilty going on Google and looking up codes to look for some help to see what's going on. When I Googled this code, all I saw was check the connectors at the coils, swap the coils, but there was no in-depth diagnosis. If I had thrown a coil on this, I would have been wrong. You have to do the wiring diagrams. You have to go through the, the flow chart, the process. So in this case, I had a bad pin fit at the PCMC2 connector. I hope this was an interesting video. I hope this helped you. Uh, I obviously put any comments in the comment section to see if any other questions. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Diagnose correctly.